Hey, how you doing, Justin? Back with you. Now we're looking at strumming on the beat. Now we already kind of, I mentioned that most music, beginner sort of stuff, is going to be in four form. You know, there's four beats to the bar. There are other things like a waltz where you have three, do dit dit do dit dit this kind of thing. Most music though has this one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four kind of feeling. So as well as learning to tap your foot on the beat, you also want to start feeling the down strum on the beat. So whenever you have a beat like one, two, three, and four, when you've got a bar of four, 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 four time is what we call it when there's four beats in the bar. A bar is just a grouping of the four beats. That's going to be four down strums. So you'd be counting one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A really great thing to practice is just to get your fingers wrapped around so that you've got all of the strings are dead. And you're going to do a down strum at the same time as you do your foot tap and count out aloud. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I mean you want to be doing this a load. One, two, three, four. I'm bobbing my head as well. You don't have to be doing the head bob. I find I naturally do that, but one, two, three, four. Just thinking this counting to four, one, two, three, and four, doing the down strum and the foot tap. So the thing to realize when you're practicing this kind of exercise is that we're trying to develop an automatic system in our mind. Kind of like a, some people call it muscle memory, but I think it's much more of a brain thing than a muscle thing. But you're trying to train an automatic response so that you're feeling this down beat with your foot, the down strum with your hand. The down beat we call the numbers, by the way, one, two, three, or four, we would often refer to as the down beat. We're going to do a down strum pretty much always on a down beat. There are a few exceptions in way advanced music, but generally speaking, you're going to have a down strum on the beat, which is going to be the counts of one, two, three, and four. So just practicing going like one, two, three, four. Just doing it like that and counting along. It's good to get used to the count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eventually, you want to be able to not have to think about it too much and that your foot and your hand are going to synchronize together without worrying about it. You shouldn't even have to think about it. That down strum with your hand and your foot are going to be happening at the same time. Developing that relationship is really what we're going for here because like I've said, the, your, your foot tapping becomes like your metronome. It's the thing that's guiding the tempo and guiding your pulse all the time. And if you trained your hand up to follow that, once the foot gets going, the hand can feel it as well. You can start listening to the music, tap your foot, and then your hand will naturally start moving these down strums with your foot. The best way of doing it is just repetition. It's playing it over and over again. Counting it can be really helpful because when I'm teaching you songs and teaching you strumming patterns, I'll be going like one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. So if you've got used to the count already, we're not worrying about ands or up strums yet, by the way. So just concentrate on the one, two, three, and the four, and the down strums for now. But just practicing that and being able to say it will really help you pick up strumming patterns a lot quicker. Okay, so for now, you'll practice literally one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's Again, it's one of those things where as a beginner, you might be like, really? Like that's the most fun thing that you can give me for right now? It's probably not the most fun thing, but it'll be the most valuable thing. And it'll mean that you have a load more fun in the very near future. So those kind of exercises, they're not that much fun, but we're only talking about doing like a minute or a couple of minutes on this kind of exercise. So it's not a huge chunk of time. And the value that you get from doing those exercises will mean that you have a lot more fun when you're playing songs, which is kind of what it's all about, right? You're going to find times where you, the song is going a little bit too fast to strum on every beat, where you're going like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and you're like, well, this all feels a little bit too frantic for a particular song. So you can either, your, other, your choices are strumming just on beat one each time. So going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So just strumming on beat one by itself, like one strum per bar would always be on beat one. You could do two strums per bar 
where you would nearly always strum on beat one and three. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, I'd normally call that two strums per bar. Now, you probably notice, or you might not notice, that my hand is moving four anyway. So if, even if I'm strumming once per bar, I'm still going one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, if you're a real beginner, you might find that a bit of a push. I struggle to do that still if I'm doing, when I'm learning left-handed, if I flip the guitar over and I try and just strum on one, I find it difficult to keep the hand moving. It's getting better. Okay, but it's difficult. You probably find it difficult too. But again, I want to give you the things that you want to be working toward now. So you know, if you start doing it, like, oh yeah, this is a good thing. I'm going to keep doing it. You know what it is that you're aspiring to, but don't be beating yourself up if you find that really difficult right now. It's your second lesson. You're going to find that kind of thing difficult. Well, like nearly everyone will find that difficult. Probably a few freaks out there. They're going to figure it out and go, like, yeah, I can do that. Great, if that's you. But most people are going to find that pretty hard. But just be aware of it. So just thinking about your strumming. So one, two, three, four, and tapping your foot if you can, two, three, and then thinking one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then moving on to one, two, three, four, just strumming on the beat each time. One, two, three, four. Getting used to the count as well. You'll find that really helpful. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're going to make it a little bit more fancy in the future. So the more practice that you've done on that, the easier it's going to be.